What's up, Madden fans? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you guys to my channel. Most people, when they are preparing for a season, what they do is they try to put together a bunch of ideas that are going to help them get better for the season. What I would want to suggest is that you actually eliminate a lot of stuff. And so today's video is going to be all about the top three things to eliminate before Madden 18 comes out. So I hope you guys like it, and let's get into it. All right, guys, my name is Cody, and uh, I've been making Madden videos for about five years now. And what I wanted to talk to you today about is, is a principle that I'm really starting to believe a lot in and learn a lot from, but something that I wish I would have known whenever I was just getting started uh, playing Madden competitively, just get started, you know, taking the game more seriously, getting more competitive with it. And that that is my not to do list. And a lot of times what people will do is they'll say you need to do this, 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 this. But what they don't do is they don't tell you what not to do. In my in my opinion, if you set your not to do list first, then your to do list, it makes it much much easier to narrow in on the tasks or the practices or the training sessions that are actually going to be beneficial. So the first thing that I don't want you guys to do is I don't want you want you to watch multiple YouTube videos. Uh, in my opinion, what what sh or not uh, videos, multiple YouTube channels. You should be watching YouTube channels, taking principles, being involved in the community. That is a good thing. But what you should not be doing is watching hours and hours and hours and hours of YouTube videos when you can only apply uh, one or two things from every video. So I would I would highly suggest you to hone in on one channel or two channels. I would recommend my channel and S Gibbs or uh, excuse me uh, Z Farrell's channel. Those are two of the really really good. Uh, channels for for content. Uh, if you don't want to watch my stuff, then I would recommend to watch uh, Zan uh, Forward Progress Madden. He's very very effective, very very solid from a from a tips perspective. Can give you guys some really good ideas uh, for the game. But those are the couple channels. And then um, also from uh, I can't think of how to say his name Pro Promiscuous or however you say it. You just search it, uh, search P R O M O and then Madden and it'll come up. Uh, but he's a he's a really solid guy. He's He's got a lot of good gameplay, a lot of good tips up there on his channel too, so you could check that out. But again, you only you want to limit it down to about four, you know, maybe four to five. But I, I know a lot of people will just spend hours watching streams, so that's kind of the to go with that. What I also want to suggest you do is do not watch videos for longer than one hour a day. You should spend no longer than one hour a day on YouTube videos because. In my opinion, they're just, they're just really not worth it because you can't apply that much. You can only apply so much at a time, so you need to intake only so much at a time. Limit the amount of inputs to maximize what you put out. Okay, so that's just kind of a little bit of a principle that I would recommend. Um, the second thing that you should not do as we get into and lead up to the Madden 18 launch is you should not spend money on Madden Ultimate Team OK, this is a this is something that, uh, again, I truly believe in and I will say it. You don't need the best players to be the best player. OK, you do not need the best players to be the best player. Um, in my opinion, Mutt is fun. And part of the joy in Mutt is figuring out how to win with lesser than players, budget players, that kind of thing. I think that's a lot of fun. I see people all the time, they'll spend money out the wazoo on mutt coins or, or different packs. And if you're going to spend money on mutt, do me a big time favor and do not buy, uh, do not buy packs, um, you know, buy specific ones that are going to give you specific players. Because again, you don't want to just, you don't want to gamble. You, you want to take the gambling out of it because gambling um, is, is only fun when you're actually going to get money back. But really all you're going to get if you gamble in mud is you're just going to get some coins. Like to me, that's just there's no ROI for it. Um, absolutely no reason to do it. So in my opinion, that would be the second thing that I really think a lot of people could get a lot of value if they stop spending money on mud coins and instead spent money on ebooks or guides if they wanted to spend it on Madden then that was what they spend it on. So buy, you know, if you buy my guide, it's going to teach you a lot. If you buy, um, you know, Z Farrell's, I'm sure he'll have a guide or, you know, everyone's going to have a guide out. Uh, but what I would recommend is finding, again, one or two guys that you think are pretty solid and buy their guides, apply their principles again, because again, you got to limit the number of input. So, you know, buy a couple guides, uh, but use, 
the biggest thing is do not spend that money on muck coins because it's not going to help you in my opinion it's not going to help you get better at the game it's just going to be another distraction the third thing and in my opinion the most important of the three in terms of your actual roi do not spend do not spend more than 30 minutes okay do not spend more than 30 minutes in practice mode per day per day Okay, so you get 30 minutes in practice mode. I'm going to live by that same principle and I'm supposed to write, you know, and I'm also going to be writing guides and books and things where I'm going to need to get in practice mode more frequently. My opinion, you do not need more than 30 minutes of practice mode labbing uh, a day. What most people do is they they really, they're, they're just kind of running plays and they're tinkering and looking at things but they're not really breaking it down. They don't know how to make a practice mode session effective. And so they end up wasting a lot of time in practice mode and they don't get any return on their investment and they wonder why their game isn't better. It's because they're not actually getting better as a player. They're just kind of trying to find a bunch of different plays. Plays do not win you championships. Players do. Okay, so you got to become a better player instead of a better playmaker. Okay, you got you, you, you can't, excuse me, let me say that again. You got to become a better player instead of a better play designer. Okay, so the key is not designing the plays. What the key is, is running the plays to effective, uh, to, to maximize how good of a player you can be. So again, very, very little thing, but I think it can save you guys a lot of time. And in my opinion, it will actually make you a better player because you're going to be, it's going to force you to limit your time. And that's going to make you focus on what is most important. What is most important, okay? Um, and that's why you want to set your not-to-do list. So those are the top three things that, in my opinion, that you should eliminate or not do uh, when when we're talking Madden 18 uh, and all of those things combined. The biggest key, guys, that I can will always stand by is this: it's not about what you it's not about what you should do first. It's about what you should not do. Once you've once you've gone through that process then we can look at things that you should do to become a better player. Okay, so make sure to set your not to do list in order to be effective in Madden 18. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, just like it and subscribe. That way you guys can be notified of future content